Right, today I'm going to show you how to save money on these 9 volt batteries. And there are a lot of electronic devices that use these 9 volt batteries. And these 9 volt batteries are not cheap. And uh, I have quite a few devices that use these 9 volt batteries. Like this RC remote control. Uh, a lot of security devices like um, motion sensors that use 9 volt batteries and especially these multimeter they use 9 volt batteries so over the years I have spent quite a lot of money on these batteries and they are not cheap each of these usually around 2 or even 3 dollars each and um, my devices these things and that those consume quite a lot of these I mean this one here there's one day I forgot to turn it off I left it on and put it in my cabinet forgot about it just a few days later and you know when the next time I needed to use it it's I try to turn on it doesn't turn on so it consume the battery when I forgot to turn it off and also these things um, it's it consume these 9 volt battery quite fast so uh, let me give you a sneak peek of what I just did on this uh, multimeter you got two lithium ion batteries taped on the back here, just double sided tape, and it powers my trusty free Hubble Freight uh, multimeter. Alright, and today I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, first let me disassemble this multimeter and I'll show you what's inside. Right, so here's the inside of the multimeter. There's a couple wires going to this connector and it connects to this 9 volt battery which is that and I already cut the wire going to this connector here as you can see here I will cut and strip the wire so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to solder a wire and then drill a hole through the back and then the wire is going to go through that hole to my external battery and these are the batteries uh, I'm going to use these two lithium polymer batteries these are salvaged from uh, from newer uh, tablet or laptops and you know I didn't pay a penny for these I can also use these 18650 batteries and you can also salvage from uh, from older laptops uh, from older laptop batteries and this is one of the batteries that you can salvage from to get the 18650 batteries and the reason I want to use these kind of batteries because well obviously first of all it's free I didn't pay anything for these but uh, more importantly, um, each of these is 4.2 volts at full charge. So if we have two of these in series, it's going to be 8.4 volts. And I have to use them externally outside of my voltmeter. It's because there's not space inside it. As you can see here, there's just enough space for one single 9 volt battery. So I'm going to drill a hole and run the wire outside of the uh, multimeter and use either these or these. Alternatively, you can use other smaller lithium ion batteries if you want to fit it inside the, uh, the housing here. Like this lithium ion batteries can see here it's about the same size of a regular double A 
alkaline battery just a little bit shorter and it's called zoom in here 14430 lithium ion battery rechargeable if I have two of these I can fit in here probably it might be a snug fit but I will fit in here two of that and um, it works just fine but the problem is these things are not cheap and it's harder to find and I do not want to spend money on these kind of batteries so this is out of the question so I'm just gonna use these externally so on these lithium polymer batteries there's no obvious way to tell which terminal is positive and which is negative but if you look closely here it says 3.7 volt and then plus on this side it's a negative sign in front of that letter it's hard to read because it's under that piece of paper but you see negative sign so on this terminal here is negative that is positive so now all I got to do is stuck together and solder the negative terminal to the positive terminal of the other battery and uh, so we get an 8.4 volt battery pack now let me show you what I got here so I've got double sided tape Just tape these two batteries together like that and then I solder the two terminal uh, let me see positive on this battery to negative on the other battery solder them, solder them together and then on this so now on these two terminal uh, it's going to be 8.2 volts 8.4 at full charge um, let me show you what we got here Eight point two one reverse polarity. Let's try again. Eight point two two one. Eight point two one. So that should be enough to power the uh, multimeter. Uh, it doesn't have to be nine volt. Uh, between seven and ten volt should be good enough to go. So now I got to do is just. Uh, Attach this and solder the wire to the uh, voltmeter, and that should be good to go. So, this is my multimeter. I solder a couple of wires to make it longer so it can go to the outside. And this wire go through the hole and drill a hole on the cover. Now, I can close the lid with the wire sticking out like that. And then solder this wire into the battery, which I'm going to use double sided tape and tape it on here, like so. I mean, like this. And then solder the wire onto the terminal. Should be good to go. Alright, so here it is. I soldered the wire to the terminal, as you can see here. And also, we'll get some tape and tape one of the terminal or maybe have to tap this one too so that they don't touch and they are quite close to one another and um, if they touch it's gonna be bad it's gonna be full bar so the moment of truth let's turn it on oh yeah there you go You're looking at the world's first externally powered multimeter. Let's see if it works. Let's try to measure voltage of this 9 volt battery that came from it. 4 volts. There you go. That's the reason why it doesn't work on this multimeter. 3.95 volts. Anyway, so 8. One, I believe, 
when I measure these two terminal, 8.1 volts work just fine. And when this battery is discharged, uh, it's about I think about 3.7 volt when it's discharged, and that's times two to 7.4 volt. It's still enough power to run this um, multimeter. Let me show you my previous build. This one is the one I just built. Right. So this one is my previous build, and I built this over a year ago, over one year, and it's still going strong. And I use this a lot. Sometimes I forgot to turn it off too, and it's it's just run like forever. And you know, if uh, if this happened to run out of juice, and I just plug it into my charger and charge it back up again. So uh, I will from now on never have to worry about nine volt batteries anymore. So say goodbye to nine volt batteries. There you have it, a nine volt battery hack that eventually saved you a lot of money. I know that it does save me a lot of money because I have a lot of electronic devices that use this kind of nine volt batteries. Alright, folks, and uh, that's all I have for now. And if you like the video, thumbs up if you like the video and uh, I'll see you next time.